Let's begin by calming the mind. and focusing on the breath. Maybe you'll check in with some kinks in the body as you make your way towards a comfortable position somewhere, perhaps in a chair on the floor or even in your own bed. We might take some time to find some intentional breaths. Checking in with your nasal passageway to see if it's clear today. And this way you can draw the breath in and out of the body through the nose. If we need to utilize the mouth, that's okay too. I'm just slowing things down. Deepening the breath. Maybe intentionally drawing more breath into your body per moment as you inhale. And then having more breath leave the body per moment as you exhale. Our breath can be quiet at this time. If you're choosing to really find a place of stillness where you may leave the body for some time as we go within. And some persons may choose to restrict the muscles in the back of their throats to create an internal humming sound for their breath. An even and equal fluctuation of the breath as you inhale slowly and sweetly and exhale sweetly and evenly. Choosing to focus on only our breath. Perhaps even drawing the gaze within to withdraw from the senses behind closed eyes. And perhaps this withdrawal of the senses and this focus on the breath will help us to keep ourselves from becoming distracted 
by any of the thoughts that may be forming in the mind at this time. I'll invite you to use your breath If you need to refocus at any point during this meditation, you can also remember simply to tune into the sound of my voice or the sounds that I'm playing gently in your ears. As we do this, the effects will be helping us to stay in the present moment. present moment without entangling ourselves in any narratives, worries, desires that may arise from within your mind. We can get lost almost in our thoughts and really separate from the present moment. And maybe there is a time for that. But as we seek to tap into the parasympathetic state, which is as we seek to leave behind the stresses of the day, the body's attachment to cortisol and adrenaline. We need to guide the body away from the, those tendencies that keep us in the flight or f flight or fright mode. And this way we can truly surrender to our present being and our relaxation. Perhaps now the body has become quite still. The mind too. And maybe a natural shallowing of your breath. so that there's very little movement in your body. Pratyahara, a withdrawal of the senses, has helped us to take the gaze, perhaps, towards a spiritual place known as the Third Eye Center. A 
Perhaps we can even feel the muscles in the face, around the temples and forehead, begin to ease more truthfully. Your lips, your tongue, and your jaw too. We'll strive to release ourselves from any tension in the shoulders and the neck so that we can melt the muscles around the scalp so that we can melt the muscles that form the scalp and surround the skull and perhaps this way aiding to open the crown chakra as well Perhaps now your place of being is lingering in the limbo between wake and sleep. Perhaps you're already making your way into the dream world. deep into the subconscious. Or perhaps some of you are still with me. And 
perhaps you'll join me as I pick a card from the Bhagavad Gita Oracle Deck. I'm coming back to shuffling them a few times since the start of our session. And I think now I'm ready to pick a card to share with you all. And with our spiritual consciousness open, perhaps now we can really receive the benefits of the teachings here. I'll split the deck. Success in Yoga, Chapter 2, Verse 48. Yoga Staha Kuru Karmani Sangam Tyaktva Danam Jaya Siddhi Asidio Samo Bhutva Samat Vam Yoga Uchete. Be steadfast in yoga, O Arjuna. Perform your duty without attachment, remaining equal to success or failure. Such equanimity of mind is called yoga. Yogastaha Kuru Karmani Sangam Tiaktva Danam Jaya Siddhi Asidio Samo Bhutva Samatvam Yoga Uchate It's a beautiful artwork. In that picture revealing Radha and Krishna together. Yoga postures or asanas are an integral aspect for many yogis. 
in the West. But in the spiritual text of the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna is revealing to Arjuna the true object of yoga. And here in this text 48 of chapter 2, we are able to taste one of those elements. Learning how to become equanimous. Remaining equal to success or failure. Bhagavad Gita reveals so much more. And hopefully we will have an opportunity through the oracle cards to share the spiritual intelligence together. With the seed of success in yoga now planted deep within our consciousness, 
perhaps it's time to let go. And really spend some time just being. <laughs> 